Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate Monday.com with Microsoft Outlook. Let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Microsoft Outlook, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Integrating Monday.com with Microsoft Outlook allows you to streamline your workflow by keeping your tasks and communication synchronized across both platforms. Now, there are multiple ways for you to be able to do that because Monday.com with Outlook, you can centralize your communication and task management because emails from Outlook can now be converted into tasks or items here in Monday.com. Now, once you are here on the Monday.com CRM or the dashboard, I need you to go to the upper right corner where you can see the integrations. If you don't have that, just click on the automations or the app marketplace, whichever you want it. Okay. Now, I'm going to click on it and go to app marketplace. And obviously, we're looking for the Microsoft Outlook. You see, it's the first result. You can connect your Outlook inbox to Monday.com and transform your emails into a lot of options. Now, you see, there are multiple ways here. You can view an app marketplace or contact developer. But of course, we're going to use the app. Click this small button right here. You just have to choose a workspace and that's going to be the CRM. If you haven't already, choose a board. Maybe I'm going for a deep laughs for now and click on add app. And just wait for it to load because you need to sign in with your Microsoft Outlook if you haven't already. So in this case, make sure you sign into your Outlook. All right. So you see there are multiple ways for the automation. Number one is, for example, if you want to use this specific template, we're in every time period. If status is something, send an email to someone or maybe when an email from this email column is received, add it as an update. So um, I'm going to choose the first one and simply click on connect if you haven't already. Just wait for it because you would be reverted here in this Microsoft. I'm going to sign into my Outlook. Now, once I'm logged into my Microsoft Outlook account, I'm going to make sure that the integrations will be successful. So I'm switching over to my Monday.com again and then now, once you have successfully set up your Monday.com with Microsoft Outlook, all right, the next option that we are going to explore is using the Microsoft Power Automate. Now, once you are here, it's a very straightforward and easy because all you're going to do is go to the automated cloud flow where it's triggered by a designated event. I want you to click on that option. Now, for this one, we can add a flow name and I'm going to put it maybe like deep laughs for now. And we need to choose the flows trigger. All right. In this case, we can select or trigger from the list below to create a flow. In this case, I'm going for the Monday.com. All right. For example, when an item's name changes, click on Monday.com. I want you to click on create. All right. The next step is going to be a sign in to Monday.com. We're going to do that. Now there's going to be a pop-up window wherein you just have to authenticate this app and sign in to and then authorize. And as you can see, you can select all the workspaces or specific um, work. But for now, I'm going to leave it as the default. All right. This app will be available to all current and future workspaces. I'm going to click on install. All right. Just wait for it to load and whatever you see on the on screen just follow it all right now it's heading back to the money.com after that this is going to be the uh you have already added the uh money.com to your microsoft outlook that's two ways their third option is using a popular platform called zapier all right now, by Zapier, you can connect Microsoft Outlook to Monday.com and automate your work by connecting on these apps and have all these endless possibilities. I want you to click on the orange button and what would happen is you would be forwarded here on the first Zap. We're going to rename it as this one. And now, for example, on the Microsoft Outlook, you need to select the event. For example, it triggers 
when there is a new attachment or it triggers when a new event is created in your calendar all right so it's all up to you now i must let you, um, i'm click on this one and i hit on continue of course you just have to sign in with your microsoft outlook and then after that click on continue and we're headed to the monday.com you can choose a value for example this one the calendar and click on continue just wait for it because we're testing the trigger test trigger and that's that all right after that go to monday.com wherein we need to choose an event for example it maybe it change multiple column values of an item let's do that and we need to click on continue of course you need to sign in with the monday.com account and after that just click on yes continue to monday.com all right and just provide the api key which we found by clicking your profile picture all right so let's do that let's get the api token on the monday.com now i switch back to the monday.com account it says you need to go to the upper right corner on your profile picture and go to the developer section all right and here we're going to get the api token just wait for it to load you have the patience and now click on the api playground all right i click on this one or maybe go to the uh, my access tokens you can simply copy that you can show and regenerate you can show if you wanted and of course let's copy that and switch over to the uh powers of on the app here now here we're going to press that and click on continue to money.com and wait for it to load all right once you've done that you would be forwarded to another page and now from here just click on continue you need to choose the board ID. That's going to be D plus item ID is that. All right. And type value is going to be uh, maybe a lead title would be it's all up to you. Right. Maybe a CEO phone number is optional. And of course, you need to provide the uh, email. For example, it's going to be um, D flaps dot com text display and click on continue. All right. You can test step if you wanted. But of course, you can skip tests if you wanted. So that's how you basically integrate Monday.com with Microsoft Outlook. By integrating these two platforms, you can enhance reporting and analytics capabilities because you can track flow of tasks, communication trends, and project progress more efficiently using the combined data from Monday.com and Outlook. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.